So the Oncotype DX test, as you know, is a commercially available uh, genomic classifier that uses uh, genes uh, uh, in the breast tumor uh, from the resected specimen to estimate risk of recurrence and also uh, potential for chemotherapy benefit. It's used in patients with Heston's receptor positive for to negative breast cancer. And it comprises of 20, it comprises of 21 genes, 16 are cancer genes and five are reference genes. And this test has been developed and validated primarily in the population of patients of ER positive HER2 negative, early stage breast cancer. And as I mentioned, it was validated to predict risk of distant recurrence in patients who are treated with adjuvant endocrine therapy. And in those studies was actually tamoxifen. So five years of tamoxifen was the treatment. And in that population, the recurrence score, 21 gene recurrence score or Oncotype DX has been found to be prognostic of risk of distant recurrence. And in subsequent studies was also found to be predictive of chemotherapy benefit based on some other uh, studies that compared tamoxifen to chemotherapy plus tamoxifen. Are clinical pathologic factors such as ACE, clinical tumor size, and grade predictive of chemotherapy benefit? The short answer is most of those are not predictive of chemotherapy benefit. There is some prediction with age and as well as grade. However, these factors uh, are overshadowed by the use of recurrence score in predicting chemotherapy benefit uh, because they're not as prognostic of, or predictive of chemotherapy benefit as is the genomic profiling test with the recurrence score. Although the recurrence score correlates with some of the clinical pathologic factors, such as, for example, GRADE or KI67, uh, in general, the recurrence score cannot entirely be predicted by clinical pathologic factors. First of all, because sometimes the clinical pathologic factors could be discordant. So one factor could be favorable, one unfavorable, and you're not sure where you are. But in the majority of the cases, though, we can be surprised uh, where we think the recurrence score will be and what we actually get. In general, though, uh, we may have a good idea of what the recurrence score would be. Uh, however, we do order the recurrence score because or, on occasion and not un infrequently, the recurrence score could be totally different from what we expect. In the past, we used these clinical pathologic factors to make decisions for chemotherapy use. And traditionally, we use clinical pathologic factors such as uh, tumor size and nodal status because the risk of the patients was higher where the tumor size is higher or the nodal status was positive or multiple nodes. Um, but in, in terms of predicting chemotherapy benefit, uh, those factors are not necessarily the best predictors of chemotherapy benefit. This uh, K67 grade, age, and tumor size um, are essentially prognostic of outcome. However, some of these factors also could be predictive of chemotherapy benefit. For example, younger age, high grade and high KI67 do predict of chemotherapy benefit, but all these factors predict chemotherapy benefit less than the genomic classifiers, namely the recurrence score. 